So I don't show very many projects. Usually most of the stuff I show can do with the cattle, but I've um, got this bale spinner and uh, we use it to unroll bales. Uh, it is a wrapper. Uh, the arm's off of it right now, but it has an arm. Comes out here to the side and then down. It has like a barn track on it. And as the bale spins, you walk along the bale and uh, you wrap from one to the end to the other. And then you squish the bales together. It folds around the ends of the bale as the film's tight. And you push them all together and they seal. It does a pretty good job. Uh, it's slow. Um, you don't want to wrap more than, you know, 20, 30 bales at a time. Uh, it's definitely not uh, anything compared to an inline or anything like that. But... If you got some wet hay on the ground, um, it's, you know, it can get you by, uh, and it's also nice and versatile. Uh, we, uh, I, I put this on the loader and, uh, I'll unroll bales down into the square baler. Um, right now what we're needing this thing for is, uh, we are needing to unroll some bales into, uh, the, uh, chopper and and chop up some uh, baleage and so this leads to the, our project here um i had a really nice uh plate that i made that went on my west north lo loader that uh was a three-point hitch uh it also had a ball on the top and bottom had a, a receiver in it i made that thing one winter um when it was really cold and we just me and a couple buddies just kind of sat around the shop and uh, it was a really nice deal. Well, somebody decided they needed it worse than I did. Uh, it's come up missing and I am needing to use this thing to, like I said, chop up some uh, baleage with so we can start doing the TMR. So this is what we're working on this afternoon and what I've come up with on the shop here real quick. What I've come up with is I had, I have this, um, thing and it's kind of crude I built this a couple years ago pretty quick like um, I had a set of forks that uh, I bought real cheap um, they were OSHA I guess regulates how many times or how long you can use forks or if there's a crack or anyway uh, a plant had to get rid of these forks for some reason and I bought them for scrap price so this is a set of pallet forks um, I don't know what to call this but anyway attachment and I built this part because I like I said I bought the forks and they just slide and run on this rail and there's a rail on the bottom and uh, so rather than build uh, and take a bunch of time and build new connectors which I will sometime for this bale spear what we're trying to do here real quick to fab something up is uh, I've made a couple plates here and uh, and this is going to slide. I'm trying to make this box this in, and it'll slide to the center, and the one here will slide to the center, so I can still use my um, pallet forks on it. And then the one here in the center on the top, I just made a template here. I haven't got it cut out yet. I'll weld it all the way around. Um, need to put a couple more holes. That'll hold my center, but the way my measurements come out, both of these things are gonna lay just where the, the pin's gonna go through these and it's gonna hold tight. They're gonna be up against the outside on both sides. So that should take out any uh, movement from side to side, plus, plus this being in the center. Um, actually, I'll probably have two of these. Uh, it'll be doubled up with a pipe in the center. But uh, what we're working on right now is, is these slide bars. Uh, gonna cap it off with a piece of, piece of half inch steel here. We will uh, cut this off and weld that up. And then, like I said, I don't know if I can lift up on this, and, but these will slide. All I'm gonna do is knock that off, but these are gonna be able to slide to the center so I can still use my um, my pellet forks that way. So 
going to be multi-purpose here. Um, like I said, this isn't the heaviest built and the greatest thing in the world. We're going to have to beef it up a little bit, put some more welds on it, some braces. Uh, but it's going to it's going to work. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll uh, after we weld on this a little bit, probably won't be on this video. Um, I'm going to tag on to this uh, a bell carrier there. Um, and uh, feeding with uh, cake feeder. So anyway, but we will, when we get this all welded up and kind of painted a little bit, we'll bring you back and show you how this thing works so we can unroll some bales into the into the chopper and uh, unroll some dry bales into the square baler. So anyway, guys, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good, fun YouTube stuff, and hope everybody's enjoying 2019.